हेलो फ्रेंड्स मोस्ट वेलकम टू द क्रैश कोर्स ऑफ साइको लिंग्विस्टिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट मार्फोलॉजिकल डेवलपमेंट और इन अदर वर्ड्स द एक्विजिशन ऑफ नेटिव लैंग्वेज मार्फोलॉजी वी विल आल्सो डिस्कस ओवर जनरलाइजेशन मेड बाय चिल्ड्रन इन द एक्विजिशन ऑफ दियर नेटिव लैंग्वेज we will also discuss the work test by jean burko we will discuss prescriptive grammar descriptive grammar and we will also discuss the productive rules by children okay in the previous video we have already discussed the acquisition of native language phonology and this video is about the acquisition of morphology okay before starting to watch the video please for subscribe my youtube channel Okay what is morphology morphology is the study of the internal structure of words root words and affixes for example the word lover beautiful and wise can be split into smaller units lover the noun love is a verb and er beautiful adjective beauty noun plus full beautiful voice plural boy singular plus s in fact morphology is the study of morphemes okay what is a morpheme a morpheme is the smallest meaningful linguistic unit it can't be further split into smaller meaningful units okay there are two types of morphology number first is derivational morphology number second is inflectional morphology okay what are derivational morphemes derivational morphemes make new word change the class of words nouns become adjective words become nouns for example the noun beauty becomes an adjective beautiful and the word and the verb work becomes a noun worker Okay inflectional morphemes only change the grammatical function of the word but not the class for example nouns man and men are boy and boys words teach and taught are go went gone these are inflectional morphemes for example adjective great greater and greatest the grammatical function of the word is changed but not the class okay what is morphological development because it is the central topic of our video morphological development refers to the process by which children acquires the ability to use morphologically or grammatically correct words and english speaking children it is the development of a child ability to use correct singulars and plurals of nouns correct forms of verbs and correct degrees of adjectives okay at which age morphological development begins actually it is at the age of 12 to 14 months that the child produces proto words a proto word is an an invented uh, is an invented words that is used by the child to convey specific meaning according to researchers the use of grammatical categories the use of morphemes for example ing plurals or degrees of adjective and language appears at the age of 2 to 3 years The basic acquisition of morphology takes place between the age of 2 and 6 years. The order at which the acquisition of morphology occurs in child language is given below. Number 1, ing form of words appear. For example, date, coming, mummy, reading, kate, setting. Okay then regular plurals appear for example books toys dolls in the use of plurals word generalization occurs by making regular plurals of irregular plurals for example mans forts and tots etc okay then irregular plurals appear for example men women teeth 
still over regularization occurs men's teeth and feet etc okay then possessions appears for example mommy's bag okay then helping verbs appear is am are etc okay the sixth ed second form of verbs appears for example played talked walked okay by using ed form of verbs again or generalization occurs for example go come run actually it is after the age of 4 years that the child learns about regular and irregular verbs later on child learn about the degrees of adjectives too okay what is word generalization and child language acquisition word generalization is when first language acquiring child apply grammatical rules in those areas where they are not applicable for example and the use of irregular plurals of nouns and irregular verbs for example man become men's or man's foot becomes foots or feet run becomes run go go went it etc okay why or generalization occurs it is because children are constructing mental grammar it is in acquisition of morphology that children apply productive rules of grammar from this phenomenon we can also conclude that ch- language acquisition is concerned with descriptive grammar rather than prescriptive grammar okay what is descriptive grammar descriptive grammar is how language is actually used use of language comes first and rules come later and descriptive grammar descriptive grammar is concerned with the first language acquisition okay what is prescriptive grammar prescriptive grammar is how language should be used rules come first and use of language comes later in prescriptive grammar prescriptive grammar is concerned with language learning or we can say language teaching okay what is work test the work test was conducted by jean burgo in 1958 for studying the inflectional morphology in child language acquisition children were presented with a hypothetical creature and it was named as wug w u g this is a wug there is another one these are dot 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 and the children said wugs okay so what is the conclusion of the work test or we can say what are the findings of the work test it means the children have productive rules that do not learn by listening to every possible form of words and sentences the word is an invented word the word work is an invented word children have not heard the word work but still they produce the plural works it is because children apply rules they apply descriptive grammar that they subconsciously know the work test also supports chomsky's theory of universal grammar okay thanks for watching the video and the next video we will discuss about the acquisition of syntax and the acquisition of semantics and please subscribe my youtube channel see you in the next video thanks many many thanks